Okay, so welcome to math. I know what you're thinking. Gee, Miss Richardson, what are you doing? And that would be a good question. We have, this is called a pan balance. And uh, I have some weights I'm opening. We just got these for next year. And I am going to use them this year because I have them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to, I'm on page 819, chapter... 11 lesson 4 on page 819 and it says the uh, the weight of an object is the measure of how heavy it is ounces and pounds are examples of units for measurement and we talked about this a little bit yesterday when we were doing our conversions oh, but um so this is a pan balance so you can see it's even steven not one side is heavier than the other so what we're going to do is we are going to put an eraser and I want you to guess how much or how heavy do you think this little eraser is going to be that's not where he's going to be at but how heavy so do you think he's going to be one ounce two ounces a pound how heavy do you think he's going to be and I want you to write it down write it down under the estimate these are my weights oh, how do you think two ounces 2OZ. So this is my one ounce weight. This is my four ounce weight. Looks like this. I should turn it to the side so you can see it. So this is one ounce. This is four ounces. I don't know. They're fair he fairly heavy. This is eight ounces. So this is like a how much a cup of milk weighs because it's eight ounces of milk. I like milk. And then oh boy, this one's heavy. This is one pound. So this is like a pound of chocolate chips. Or oops. So did everybody come up with how heavy they think my little eraser is going to be? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my eraser on one side. See my little pink eraser down there. Not really. Um, let me see if I can move them so you can see them better. Can you see them? You can't see them there. Can you see them there? Barely. There you can cut. Oh, he was Roman, but here he is. All right, so there he is on that side. So I'm going to try one ounce. Now, if it ends up even Steven, uh-oh. You can't really see my balance, but it's definitely tipped like that the one ounce is way heavier so the actual weight would be of my little eraser would be less than an okay so go ahead and write less than an ounce okay next we're gonna do a bottle of school glue and i'm going to show it to you upside down because the weight is on the other side so there is my bottle of school glue it's crayola school glue how heavy would you think this is? Do you think it's one ounce, more than one ounce? What do you think? Put an estimate down for the glue book. What? More than one pound? If you think it's more than one pound. Good to go? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to put my school glue on this side. This shouldn't be difficult at all to see and it's like way down there and uh, I'm gonna put one ounce in there no nope. nope, didn't really move it much okay I'm gonna put another ounce in there I have two ounces Ooh, it's starting to move it what do you think three ounces no. let's see nope Well, if it's two ounces, it should be even. Is my scale even, or is it still going this way? I would right. say four. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's try. Let's try a five ouncer. Close. Well, it moved it. Let's see. What about six ounces? Okay, so it's more than. Five ounces less than six ounces, right? Now, the interesting thing is look at this. The school glue says it's four ounces. 
So what it means is inside the bottle is four ounces. That does not include the outside bottle or the outside container. So inside is four ounces, not the outside. Does that make sense? Well, so what would it be? More than five, less than six. Well, we're going to try. Uh, yes, please. That would be great. Thanks. Nope. The other friend said. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What was it less than? Less than six is what it said. Okay. Now we're back to even Steven. I'm going to roll it this way. Thank you for asking. All right. I don't know how well this is going to work. You know what? I've got a rubber band. Maybe that'll work. See if it'll fit. I can get it to fit in here. You think it's over a pound? Uh oh. All right. Well, there it hangs. I can't even leave it. Okay. Make your qu estimate quick because I don't want to leave this in very long. We good? I'm going to start with the pound because that was one of the guesses. It's, a it's definitely over a pound, it looks like. Um, let's try a uh, pound and eight ounces is... Not even Steven. Well, give it a minute. It's still bouncing. Yeah, we're waiting for it to even out. It do be bouncing. Wait a minute. We're going to be on like curvy and bendy after? I hope not. That's we get so it. Cool. It's a little bit heavier. So let's do this. Let's change my eight ounces for four ounce. It's more than four. So put like a one ounce. Five. Six. Seven. It looks like it's between seven and eight. So it's one pound. One pound seven or one pound eight ounces. So the math book's heavier than one seven. It's less than one pound eight ounces. So it's between 1.7 and 1.8. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull. Hold on. Ooh, don't tip, don't tip. I got a pencil up here. Thank you, though. Well, it worked really well, didn't it? Thank you so much. Is it hard, though? All right, and then, last but not least, I got to pull my... Weights out. Oof. Okay, so there's my weights out. Now, I have, so I've used the eraser, we've done the math book, we've done the school glue. Now we're going to do a pencil. So I'm going to put a pencil on this side. Take a guess, how much do you think that pencil weighs? It's a brand spanking new pencil. What do you think? I think it's three ounces. I think it's three ounces? Well, let's try. So here's one ounce. Not even an ounce. Not even an ounce. Try to put zero. Hang on. Okay, so you're like, well, Miss Richardson, what just happened? That happened was we finished weighing the things we had to weigh, and we jumped back to page 827. Um, before I go over the four that you are supposed to do, we're going to do number eight together. And do number eight together. Mm -hmm. So number eight says, gosh, Miss Richardson, I have 50 ounces.
So there's 50 ounces. So 50, so is ounces bigger or is pounds bigger? Pounds. pounds are bigger, right? So I have number eight, I have 50 ounces. And I'm trying to figure out how many pounds and ounces there are. There is a trick to how you do these. So I'm going to take my ounces to one pound. How many pounds are in an, or how many ounces are in a pound? 16 ounces are in one pound. I'm going to put my 50 over one. What I noticed somebody doing yesterday was somebody put um, their 50 over one pound, and it's not. You just put it over the number one, okay? Just the number one. So with your calculators in just a second, not quite yet. So how would we set this up? Well, that would equal 50 over one times what? One over 16, right? And what would I do with the ounces? I'm going to cross them off. You are right. Now I'm left with 50 what? On the top and what on the bottom? 16 on the bottom. So with your calculators, you're going to say 50 divided by 16. 50 divided by 16. Because this bar means divided by, right? Okay, so we got a wonky number. The wonky number is 3.125. What does the three represent? Whole the whole number, which is three pounds. So I know that my three is going to be three pounds. So I've used three pounds worth of ounces. How many ounces are in a pound? 16. So to figure out how many leftover ounces I have, I need to say three pounds times 16 because that'll give me how many left so I'll be able to figure out so three so I'm gonna put my three I have three pounds and I have three pounds one pound is 16 ounces right I'm trying to figure out exactly how many ounces I used Okay, so three times, so then that equals, I have three times 16, right? It's still going to be one over one. What is three times 16, Blurt? 48. Three times 16 is 48. What that means to me is three pounds equals 48 ounces. Well, I started with 50 ounces. If three pounds uses 48 ounces, how many ounces are left? Two. Two ounces are left. So I would say 50, my whole number, minus my 48, which is my three pounds, and it leaves me with two left over. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, okay, you didn't use the whole thing, you used a part of it. So how many leftover ounces do you have? How many part, whole parts didn't you use? Okay. Let's look at number 10. Number 10 you should have done on your own. You were supposed to try it, right? So 7,000 pounds, you should have set it up like this. Let me get my paper ready. So number 10, I had, is pounds smaller or is tons smaller? Pounds, pounds are smaller. So I have 7,000 pounds is equal to, and I need to take it to tons. How many pounds are in a ton? 
2,000 pounds are in a ton. I'm going to put my 7,000 over 1. So that's going to equal 7,000 over 1 times 1 over 2,000. What do I... <coughs> I'm sorry. What do I... No, I forgot to do this. What do I do with the pounds over the pounds? I'm going to cross them off. Now I'm left with 7,000 over 2,000. What is 7,000 divided by 2,000? What? You're multiplying. I'm dividing. Because we end up with 7,000 divided by 2,000. What did you guys get for an answer? 3.5? So there are 3.5 what? Tons. So right here, you would write 3.5 tons. Uh, raise your hands if you got 3.5. If you didn't get 3.5, do you know what you did? Fantastic. Let's look at number 11. Number 11 is being tricky. It says, I have three-fourths of a ton. It equals so many pounds. So I'm going to fold my paper again. Here's number 11. Is tons bigger or is pounds bigger? Tons are bigger. So, number 11. I have three-fourths of a ton... And I'm just making my bigger so that I can see my fraction there, right? Three-fourths of a ton is equal to so many pounds, right? How many pounds are in a ton, did we say? 2,000 pounds are in a ton. Now, I'm going to tell you, this one's going to be a little bit tricky, Because we're going to have 3 fourths over 1, right? 3 fourths divided by 1 is going to be the same thing as what? Anything over 1 is going to stay the same. So it's still going to be 3 fourths times 2,000 divided by 1. Is there something that I can cross multiply? Is there a number on the top and the bottom that I can divide equally? Yes, what's the number? Four. I can divide the top by four and I can divide the bottom by four. Four divided by four is one. 2,000 divided by four is what? 500. Okay, so I now have three-fourths, three-fourths, I've divided the four by four is one, and then I have a three on the top, and then there's 500 up here. So now I have three times 500. Three times 500 is 1,500 pounds, right? Who got 1,500 pounds? Nice. Look at you guys go. If you did not get 1,500 pounds, did you see what you did? Perfect. Let's look at the bottom. I'm going to be honest with you. When I look at these things, I like to do them in my head. It's not going to happen for you guys to do them in your head. 
But let me show you how I would set this up. I know that four tons, I'm gonna put four tons and I need to get, cause I need to get them both to be either pounds or tons, right? It's easier for me to work with the number four than it is for me to work with the number 7,500, right? Four is a little bit easier to figure out. I'm gonna put one ton on the bottom I'm going to put 2,000 on the top. I'm going to put the 1. 1 times 1 is 1 on the bottom. My ton would cross off. My ton would cross off. Now I have 4 times 2,000. 4 times 2,000 is 8,000. So it's going to be 8,000 what? 8,000 pounds. Which one is bigger? 8,000 pounds? Or 7,500 pounds. So the mouth has to go that way. Okay. Let's look at the next one. The next one is a half a ton. Um, and then I have 1,000 pounds. I'm going to take my half a ton. And it's 2,000 pounds. Thanks. So this is 2,000. That's fine. All right, so one half ton over one times 2,000 over one ton. It's 2,000 pounds. The ton's going to cross off with the tons. Now I have one half times 2,000. So I can divide the bottom by 2. I can divide the top by 2. So I'm left with 1 on the bottom and 1,000 on the top. What does that mean? That means they're equal. E even, Stephen, they're equal. Homework today. I jumped too far. A uh, one to six. Any questions for me? One to six, one to six. All right. Huh, line up for Jim. I gotta.